Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natisha and today I wanted to show you guys what is in my Bible tote situation. So I don't really have a lot of space around the house to kind of just leave my Bible stuff and come back to it on a daily basis. Like I don't have a war room. I don't have a separate office. So I sometimes like to read and study my Bible in my room. Sometimes I like to read and study my Bible at the table, kitchen table. Sometimes I like to read and study my Bible in the living room. So I got the idea off of someone off of Instagram. They have a tote. Um, it's a diaper bag. So I was going to get that. But I forgot that I had this bag. So I'm a Mary Kay consultant, but I don't really work the business. And I have this tote bag situation it's like a separator tote bag that came in my Mary Kay bag so I was like that is perfect for me to use so I take this tote bag if I want to enjoy the word of the Lord in my room I have this bag it has my Bibles my pens my prayer journal um, that I'm about to start <laughs> my notebooks my sticky uh, sticky notes <laughs> so and that being said also I don't have a desk to keep all this from I work from home so I have to have my work stuff on my desk if I didn't work from home I would probably have majority of this stuff on my desk but I like the option the convenience of having it all in one and I can take and go downstairs take and go upstairs take and go in the kitchen and have everything that I need so Let's look into my bag and see my tote bag and see what items I got. Again, I wanted to show you. I'm going to flip it. It's got like pockets on the side, pocket on the side. It's heavy. <laughs> pocket on this side. And then in the inside, it has dividers. So each section is kind of divided up into three sections. So. I'll show you what is in this situation. My Bible tote bag. So I do have a set of crayons for my creative crayon coloring, mainly out of my um, creative Bible that I'm going to show later. It has pages to color, so I just have crayons. Why not? Then I have my Tony Evans study Bible. This is the Bible that I'm currently studying out of. I was studying out of my Holman colored Bible, but I got this to kind of replace that one, so to speak. But this is the Tony Evans study Bible. Pretty nice. Got the Bible, a little bit of commentary at the end. And then each book has a QR code. I'll try to show you. Each book of the Bible has a QR code that you can scan. And Tony Evans himself, in the beginning, Tony Evans himself will give you kind of an introduction to Psalms and what to expect and all that jazz. So right now I'm studying the book of Isaiah. And... It's going great. Slow, slow motion, but going great. So that was, I'm not even going to put that back in. I keep it in the box because it's, it's soft binding. I didn't want it to mess up. So the next thing I keep in here, which a lot of times this also just sits next to my bed because I open up this Bible the most because I'm reading through the Bible with this one specifically and that is my creative my creative Bible is the KJV version you have I have it tied with uh, daily grace company tabs it's the floral one so I thought it was perfect for this Bible um, I colored a little bit of the inside I haven't colored a whole lot but like I typically colored the beginning of the books of the Bible so that is this Bible. The only thing I don't like about this Bible, it's not red lettering um, from the words of Jesus, but 
I didn't know that when I was researching the Bible, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. The next thing I have in my Bible tote is this Bible study. It's called Self-Study Bible Course by Derek Prince. 14 studies that explore God's word. This is a Bible study series that I am doing with my children. So all three, I have two um, of my sons here and we are doing this Bible study together. So we just started it and so it's just, it's fresh. <laughs> and the first lesson that we were going off of is God's plan of salvation. So this is something I'm, I'm doing with um, a 10th grader and a 6th grader. So we're doing this together. And I, because I want to, you know, get my kids really into understanding at an early age the importance of diving into the word knowing it and being equipped and prepared for the world after they um turn 18. so something that you know i got very minimal of when i was younger and i really holy ghost heavenly father i'm really 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 wanting my kids to be well equipped for the kingdom of god at an early age <laughs> so i have that study long story short and then i also have this Tony Evans commentary book and I did not think at first that this would be necessary because I have a study Bible but studying Isaiah I've had to use it and this commentary pretty much for the most part does chapter or verse by verse so it'll give you a little something for each verse and I don't think it's from just a few chapters that I've used it for does every verse in his study Bible. So the commentary is useful and I am happy that I got it. And I was happy to support um, Tony Evans and his company and his fellowship company. The next thing that I have in here is a book that I'm reading or that I kind of just whipped out uh, because there's interest pulling me in this direction, but this this book is called Prayers That Rot Demons. Prayers for Defeating Demons and Overthrowing the Power of Darkness by John Eckhart. So I've started reading this and I'm just equipping myself to be able to fight spiritually. Then I also have the book Fervent. Um, this is a deluxe edition, but this is the book by Sh um, Priscilla Shire, who is Tony Evans' daughter. And I just started reading it. I think I'm only in chapter, I only finished chapter one, so I'm going to chapter two. But this is in regards to your war room and building up that prayer life to defeat the enemy spiritually. So. I've only read chapter one, so I gotta dive into chapter two. But in corresponding to this, I don't have an area necessarily that I can consider my war room. I know a war room could be a physical area or it could be just a prayer binder, or it could just be wherever you decide to pray the most. Like a lot of times I pray in the car or I pray in the shower. So, but I decided I am going to do a prayer binder. So, I've, I've looked up a couple of options. I've looked up prayer journals. There's already prayer journals that come pre-outlined. So, you're going to have outline. But I'm pretty, like, I'm kind of creative. And I kind of don't want to be fitted into a box. So, I decided I'm going to do my own um, prayer binder. I'm not, I was going to keep this in as my, uh, my outer layer, but this binder I got from Staples is clear. It's, um, one inch and I don't, it's a smaller size. So it's not like the normal big size. And then in Staples, they also come with paper that, uh, fits it. So I got these dividers. And I also got some lined paper. So I'm going to be able to take things out and move it around the way I want to. Versus if I get a spiral notebook, 
it's kind of like stuck in the section that you have it in. However, you know, because like I want to do like prayer requests in one section. And once the prayer request is answered, I may move it over to prayers answered. So I haven't gotten this together. I just got some paper stock from Michael. So I'm trying to get this together and get this moving because it's very important to have a good prayer life. And it's very important to kind of see the prayers answered. A lot of times you have the prayers and they do get answered, but you kind of forget about them. And so you can go back and say, oh God, yes, he answered this prayer. Yes, he saved my husband. Yes, he saved my dad. Yes, he saved my sister. And yes, he saved my brother. So it's, it's in the works. It's, it's coming. It's coming. So the next thing I have in here is my notebook. This is um just a regular schmegler notebook. Actually, it's something that I found just in my stash at home. But this is what I am using to study the book of Isaiah. So these are all my notes for my Isaiah study. And so I'm actually, and what I do, I will eventually get to the point where I'm going to study literally every verse of every book that I decide I want to study. At the moment, what I do is, so the last chapter that I did was 26. I read the chapter, I pick a verse that stands out to me, or I pick a verse that I need more clarification, and then I take that verse, I write it down, and then I dive in deeper, and what I mean diving deeper is I kind of give like, okay, what what am I seeing or reading? And then I look into Blue Letter Bible commentaries that, you know, come from that. And then I, I now dig into my Tony Evans commentary, but just to get a better understanding of what stood out to me. So 26 was the last chapter that I did. And the creative side of me, I have lots of... And lots of pens. I'm a pen junkie, but some of these pens are just for my notebooks for note taking, and some of these pens are for um, actually less of these pens are for um, Bible writing, but I have a lot of highlighters for Bible writing. So these are not pens, but these are Prime Prism Color Premium color pencils um just for the coloring aspect a lot of times the coloring in the bible is just i'm listening to sermons and i color at the same time just to you know make sure my mind is like listening because i don't know how to explain it but <laughs> these are what comes in and this is the botanical garden set so and then I have this uh, pencil bag that I got from Tarjay a couple of years ago. And in, the, in here, I have a bunch of pens. I like to do my Bible study. I love color, like just different colors. Um, I like these. What are these? What is this? Oh, Pinto liquid gel ink pencils or pens. And I have different colors, like this is brown. I have got this huge pack of them. Red, purple. I just like to do different colors every time I study. But then I have the mild liners, the highlighters. I use those for highlighting in the Bible. I have a whole pack of them outside of the four that I have in here. And then these I just got a long time ago that I don't really use that much. I have the uh, micro pens, and then I have some paper made gel pens, and then I have some paper made whatever these are called. So yes, loads, loads of writing utensils. And then I also have this that I got. This is not in the bag now, but it was. Um, this is from, I got it off Amazon. It's called Soft Touch Pure Plastic Gel Ink Pen. I don't use these for the Bible, but I will 
use this mainly for my planner, but for a Bible study too. And then I saw somebody on Instagram, I have a case, Instagram using the skin tone color markers from Crayola. So I ended up getting the whole pack too. I don't necessarily like to use them. I used, like, I tried it once, but it's just a skin tone. What are they called? Colors of the World pack that they had. So I got a bunch of those whenever I felt like using them. And last but not least, I have sticky notes. And I use these in my She Reads Truth Bible because that Bible is really, really thin. So I, I'm okay with highlighting in the Bible, but I'm not really okay with writing in it. Unless maybe I eventually will find the right utensil, like the right pen that works for that Bible. So some Bibles, do, the pens are fine. And some Bibles, the, the paper is so thin that you can't write nothing in it. So you do have to be conscious of the pens, markers, highlighters that you use for the Bibles because they can bleed through or mess up your pages. But that is it. That is all the things that are in my tote bag that I carry around and use while increasing my relationship with the Lord, increasing my knowledge, and trying to get myself geared up, equipped for the kingdom of the Lord. <laughs> so, do you have a war room? Do you have a war binder? Do you have a tote bag that you tote around your house? Have you thought about getting one? There are lots of options on Amazon and options in regards to like diaper caddies. Like I have one that I have saved. It's pink. I love pink. So it's literally a diaper caddy. So if you want me to link that down below so you kind of just get a feel. I think I saw some at Target too, but I think it's a good idea. Especially if you're yeah, toting around a bunch of but like can you imagine me carrying all of these stuff all this stuff throughout the house um throughout my house whenever i'm ready to study god's word <sighs> crazy anyways okay okay guys that's it thank you for watching my video stay for a while show me some love and i will see you guys in the next one god bless